hugs for Harry. Pregnant Meghan can't hide her delight as adorable little boy refuses to let go of her prince after couple arrive in rural Dubbo to meet drought hit farmers, Aboriginal children and flying doctors. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex made a new best friend on the second day of their tour of Australia, when they touched down in the drought-stricken farming town of Dubbo in northwestern New South Wales on Wednesday. A five-year-old boy with Down syndrome was overjoyed to meet Harry and Meghan when his turn came, and he just couldn't stop hugging a delighted Prince Harry or his pregnant wife Meghan Markle. Meghan, 37, revealed her pregnancy to the world yesterday and today admitted that she is a bit tired and running on adrenaline, but planning to go ahead with all 76 engagements of the 16-day tour. She showed no sign of fatigue as five-year-old Luke Vincent gave her a hug and then turned his affections on her husband at Dubbo Airport. The royal couple spent the day touring the farming town which is suffering its worst drought since records began in 1900, and their visit brought some much-needed rain. As the heavens opened while Harry made a speech at a community barbecue later in the day, bystanders offered him an umbrella. But Meghan had already stepped in to shield her husband with her own brawly. The prince joked I've got my wife to laughter from the crowd after Meghan stepped in. Earlier in the day, the Duchess even whipped up a loaf of banana bread to take with her on a visit to a farm to highlight the plight of farmers hit by drought. For the action-packed day Meghan wore 108 pounds high-rise jeans by Australian brand, Outland, a 1,110 pounds boss oversized blazer by her friend, Serena Williams, and a Maison Kitsune button-down collar shirt for 40 pounds and 172 pounds ankle boots by J. Crew. Pregnant Meghan cooked the delicious treat in the kitchen at Admiralty House, the mansion home of the Governor General of Australia on Tuesday night following her first full day of engagements in Sydney. She took the cake, packed with chocolate chips and a touch of ginger, with her to Mountain View Farm outside of Dubbo in New South Wales, where she met the Woodleys, a five-generation farming family. An aide said, she loves baking and just decided to take something along with her on the spur of the moment. The Duchess also took along the perfect accompaniment a tin of Fortnum and Mason Royal Blend Tea. Before the Duchess had even left the cake was three quarters of the way gone. The Duchess and her husband Prince Harry were in Dubbo, Australia, on the second day of their historic first international tour together which will also take them to New Zealand, Fiji and Tonga over 16 days. To start the day. The rain held off for there a while the children jumped up and down with anticipation, cheering as the couple came down the steps from their RAF jet for the second full day of their royal tour. Despite running behind schedule, Harry and Meghan took their time with the school children, the prince bouncing around energetically and Meghan kneeling down to speak to them. Ems van Dartel said of the royal couple's visit to Dubbo, whose farming community has been hit by the devastating drought in recent months. This is a real morale boost. James Fogg, 11, from Umungari Public School, which has just nine pupils, told Harry he wanted to be a helicopter pilot, with the Duke replying good choice, good man. James said, this is so exciting for Dubbo. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to meet them. Pregnant Meghan cooked the delicious treat in the kitchen at Admiralty House, the mansion home of the Governor-General of Australia on Tuesday night following her first full day of engagements in Sydney. She took the cake, packed with chocolate chips and a touch of ginger, with her to Mountain View Farm outside of Dubbo in New South Wales, where she met the Woodleys, a five-generation farming family. An aide said, she loves baking and just decided to take something along with her on the spur of the moment. The Duchess also took along the perfect accompaniment a tin of Fortnum and Mason Royal Blend Tea. Before the Duchess had even left the cake was three quarters of the way gone. The Duchess and her husband Prince Harry were in Dubbo, Australia, on the second day of their historic first international tour together which will also take them to New Zealand, Fiji and Tonga over 16 days. To start the day. The rain held off for there a while the children jumped up and down with anticipation, cheering as the couple came down the steps from their RAF jet for the second full day of their royal tour. Despite running behind schedule, Harry and Meghan took their time with the school children, the prince bouncing around energetically and Meghan kneeling down to speak to them. Ems van Dartel said of the royal couple's visit to Dubbo, whose farming community has been hit by the devastating drought in recent months. This is a real morale boost. James Fogg, 11, from Umungari Public School, which has just nine pupils, 
told Harry he wanted to be a helicopter pilot, with the Duke replying good choice, good man. James said, this is so exciting for Dubbo. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to meet them. Five-year-old Lyra Rose, of Dubbo South Public School, said, it's the first time I have met a princess and I will remember it forever. While school captain Molly Hopkins Davis, 12, said, Harry asked us when we had had rain. They seemed to know a lot about the drought. Millie Sutcliffe, 10, from Dubbo South Public School, hugged both royals. My wish came true. I said congratulations on the baby and they thanked me. I said I love you guys and I got a hug. They said thank you for coming to meet us, you guys are awesome. Lachlan Eddie and Tyson Salt, both 12, from Dubbo West Public School had Megan in stitches as they performed some energetic dance moves. She said it was very funny, Lachlan said. Prince Harry and Meghan were also met on the tarmac by Regional Mayor Councillor Ben Shields and Indigenous Elder Aubrey Grace Toomey. Also in the lineup was Troy Grant MP, the member for Dubbo and Minister for Police and Emergency Services, and his wife Tony. Previous royal visitors to Dubbo have included Edward, Prince of Wales, in 1920, the Queen in 1954 and 1992 and Prince Edward in 2006. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were showing their support for farming families affected by one of Australia's worst ever droughts while in Dubbo. The farming region has been blighted by temperatures in excess of 45 C leading to the death of thousands of cattle, loss of livelihood and severe food shortages. Some areas have experienced the driest spell since records began in 1900. Prince Harry and Meghan visited the Royal Flying Doctor Service after their arrival to learn more about the life-saving role the aviation service provides for people living in rural areas. There, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex met a hero medic who pulled three survivors from a helicopter crash in Afghanistan. Marcus Wilson, 47 an ex-soldier who was running a medical service at the time, was awarded Australia's Bravery Medal for his actions. Inspired by Prince Harry, Mr Wilson will be taking part in the Invictus Games and the sailing event. Now manager of the Royal Flying Doctor Service in Broken Hill, about 1,500 kilometres from Sydney, Mr Wilson spent 14 years in the military, first as a gunner, then as a medic before setting up a medical evacuation service for aid workers in Afghanistan. He was at NATO HQ in Kabul in October 2015 when a helicopter crashed near where he was standing. It missed me by 15 to 20 feet, Mr. Wilson, who met the couple at a RFDS event in Dubbo, said. It was an intense experience. I was the first on the scene. I got people to get fire extinguishers and then spent one and a half hours retrieving the deceased and survivors from the wreckage crawling through the airframe. The space that we crawled through was 35 centimeters high. It was ankle deep in fuel. Because everything collapsed we had to use bolt cutters. We could not use saws because of the fuel. Five died, two RAF crew and three contractors, and four survived. Mr. Wilson, who was one of three rescuers, added, it was terrifying. If it caught on fire there was absolutely no escape. Mr. Wilson said he went inside the helicopter because he was older than most people at the scene. I had had a chance to live my life. I didn't want other people to take the risk that I felt I should take. Pregnant Megan cooked the delicious treat in the kitchen at Admiralty House, the mansion home of the Governor General of Australia, on Tuesday night following her first full day of engagements in Sydney. She took the cake packed with chocolate chips and a touch of ginger, with her to Mountain View Farm outside of Dubbo in New South Wales, where she met the Woodleys, a five-generation farming family. An aide said, she loves baking and just decided to take something along with her on the spur of the moment. The Duchess also took along the perfect accompaniment a tin of Fortnum and Mason Royal Blend Tea. Before the Duchess had even left the cake was three-quarters of the way gone. The Duchess and her husband Prince Harry were in Dubbo. Australia, on the second day of their historic first international tour together which will also take them to New Zealand, Fiji and Tonga over 16 days. To start the day, the rain held off for there a while the children jumped up and down with anticipation, cheering as the couple came down the steps from their raft jet for the second full day of their royal tour. Despite running behind schedule, Harry and Meghan took their time with the school children, the prince bouncing around energetically and Meghan kneeling down to speak to them. Ems van Dartel said of the royal couple's visit to Dubbo, 
whose farming community has been hit by the devastating drought in recent months, this is a real morale boost.